We're going to have a, a look at uh, Balboca and the voice settings and particularly how you can save uh, some text to an MP3. It's got a very powerful MP3 uh, save feature. So first of all, let's look at the, uh, if we go into view and show and you can configure the voice. So you can see it will pick up SAPI4 and SAPI5 voices. So any voices that you have on your computer, it will identify and play them. Um, a few there, but I'm just going to go for the Serproc Heather voice. You can also, like you can do in many other programs, is change the rate and the pitch of the voice. And uh, once you're happy with that, then just configure the voice, uncheck that, or press F10, that will take it back off. So, and then we can play that back. You can hear it in the background. So if you remember earlier in the first uh, part we set the uh, background colours and we also set the highlighting. So you can see it's highlighting in blue. It's also um, pausing between each sentence as it's reading as well. So these are all prior settings. Let's just stop that. So the next stage then is we've got a voice settings. It will read it back and I can type in and it will also echo back the characters. So very, very, very powerful program. But um, I think it's excellent for uh, exporting an MP3. So uh, what we can do is we can export it to various options. First of all, I'll just save uh, my file. So I've got a file there with my MP3s in it. And um, the great thing about it is that you can uh, various options here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck all these options and I want to uh, create name bookmarks because I want to create uh, each MP3 as a bookmark. And it's also particularly good because it helps to navigate around the document. So up to bookmarks, insert, and let's create a first one. So let's do this with each heading title that we've got. And there's an introduction. Down to overview, so insert the bookmark, and let's type in overview, and OK. And then down to features of my study bar, same again, insert that, control and F3 to do the same thing. Features of my study bar, and that's that in. So the other good thing about that is now I can use that as a form of navigating as well. Let's just go over to the navigation part. There it is there. And just drop downs. And so you can see as I click to the various one, the cursor will jump there. And then it's just a case of pressing F5 for the uh, text to be played. So let's get back to splitting and converting our audio files. So we've made our bookmarks. There's name bookmarks. So it's just a case now of saving those to the MP3. So let's click split, split and convert and split, off it goes. So depending on the size of the document will depend on the time it will take to convert it. But this is going through really quickly. Just done that and close. And I'll just minimise this document here and open up the uh, MP3s. There they are. Excellent stuff. So obviously I could copy them over to an MP3 player uh, or onto, um, in this case I'm going to be looking at uh, Windows Media Player.